Hello everyone. You may have noticed I started this recording very abruptly, and that's because I'm so excited. Because we're going to be doing a main quest that we missed. This is what I love about this game. You can literally play this entire game without ever getting the camera or figuring out whatever this it's in the key items, I believe. Figuring out what this uh, travel medallion prototype is for. You can also spend the entire game not visiting this temple that's apparently down here. So if I recall, I believe it was this light route that had the statue. So right now we're on a, a side quest, I mean a main quest that we missed completely. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> As th it's, this is hilarious, to be honest with you. Here I am, I'm like, we're buttoning up the game. We finished all the main quests, except for the last one. And here's where I realize, if I had just gone through and been like, we're going to beat the game. Well, some monster parts are so much more essential than I thought they would be. Those Gleoxes that we've been taking out, they are really hard to take out without good monster parts. So from now on, I'm going to defeat all the monsters I can. But I'm hoping that this statue is... I know what statue is being referred to. Although these are kind of like red book albums. I guess I could defeat you. I just want to make sure I'm not using a too powerful weapon. I actually want to test this out because I don't know what it does. Huh? Are you dazed and confused? What did that do to you? Let's try and use this on the mob. Ouch, why'd you explode me? That was rude. What do the stars do? I hit you directly with them, it didn't do anything. I feel like the star fragment staff is used for something more important. Anyways, I can basically let my companions take out all the enemies when they're this big. Which is perfect, because this will allow us to gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna use my frost emitter club. There we go. Actually flame emitter would be better to use. Anyways, that was kind of rude. Also plus they drop zonite so we should probably take them out anyways. But we're gonna need tons of monster parts for like those stuff. Fusion is like a huge part of this game. What's up? And you're defeated. I would expect that because these are super weak enemies. So we should be able to find, ooh, a silver, silver book album. I'm glad that he take you out. I wish our master sword could recharge. Why is this silver book album like super, oh wait, duh, they're silver book album. They're not super weak, they're super strong. And I got killed. Oh well, I still don't know what the star fragment staff does. I know what a topaz rod does. Are you serious? Who shot me with the arrow? Okay, I gotta stop being reckless, because these are actually really powerful enemies now. Thank you very much. Okay, let's take out the silver book album. Our master sword power has been restored, which is perfect, because we're gonna we're about to make a very powerful master sword. We are going to fuse the master sword with the white name Lionel Horn. Let's see how powerful it is. It is wrecking the silver bokoblin like it's nothing. Cool. Too bad when that breaks we're gonna lose the, the, the Lionel Horn forever but oh well. I am just here trying to investigate an area in the depths. Ah, uh, there's the statues. Most likely, we just have to follow them. Which is, this is a super easy quest. I can't believe I missed the main quest. Here's the thing, I thought we finished this game. I thought we were almost done. But it turns out, there's this whole entire main quest we haven't done. And it's called following the statues. So I'll gladly do that. Ooh, maybe we'll find the dude who deals with Poe, finally. We have like almost a thousand of this stuff. 
Maybe he has something to do with this temple. Plus in the end, this will also help us a little bit, because we're going to fully ex Well, not fully explore the depths, try and get all the old maps that we've unlocked from the Sky Islands. Okay then. We should equip our light armor so we can see better. Where is our... Also, we've been gloomed. I'm pretty sure I have anti-gloom food. Oh no, that's not food. I affect... Ooh. <sighs> that was not very uh, good to waste, but... It's fine, I have tons of Sunday lines. I don't too focus on getting rid of Gloom because at the end of the day, I don't really care about it. Also, apparently the Gloom Toll Sword, I'm just gonna mark that so I don't forget about it. The Gloom Toll Sword, the, when you get Gloom by it, it restores automatically. So that Gloom resistance that I put on, when I was fighting that Gleox, was not helpful in any way. So that was good to know. Anyways, let's activate these uh this light route real quick. Oh wait, a light route? I could have restored myself. I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking at all. Oh well. At least now we can see so we can go to the statues. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, perfect. Also, this red waypoint is a misleading thing that we don't need anymore. I have a blue waypoint down here? For what? Oh, for this light route. But what about the blue one? Where in the world is this blue waypoint for? That? I don't even know what that is. Huh. Where? Okay, where are the statues pointing now? Okay, there's another statue. I just want to make sure that we're not getting turned around. I believe we came from... We came from this light route. Okay, let's just keep following the statues. We should be led in the correct direction no matter what. Hey, look, it's a frox. We haven't fought one of those in a long, long time. I might stop by just to say hi. Okay, so the statues end right here, which is kind of weird. You would think there'd be a temple nearby or something. Nope. Mm, there's a frox nearby. Is this what is up there the area we're trying to get to? Can't really see is the issue here. Did we even equip our full light armor? No, I did not. That might be an issue here. So you and you, as we get more armor, it gets harder and harder to actually find it. That's also an issue. Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way now. The statue just ends here. Unless that's another one in the distance. There is. Okay, cool. My very uh, good eyes could see it. Should we try and take out our frocks? I don't know. It's really not a fair fight, is it? I don't even remember to fight these dudes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He charges at you, right? And you're just supposed to run away? I think we're supposed to wait for him to charge and then you run away. Or do you just jump on his back? No, you just jump on his back. Oh, I remember. You're supposed to shoot him in the eye. Oh no, but also do not get sucked in. Uh oh. We've gotten eaten. I'm pretty sure Fox dropped a lot of Zonite, which we'll need. For something in the sky. I remember something in the original Sky Island. It was maybe a mine or something. But it was great. Okay. Let's go ahead and wreck this uh, frocks real quick. 
Boom. Boom. This is a very low level enemy that we've defeated like, countless times. I just thought it'd be fun to defeat him again. There we go. Another fox defeated. What is that giant like enemy that exists in this game? We haven't fought one of those in an extremely, extremely long time. I almost wonder where they are, to be honest with you. There we go. Now, where was that statue we were heading towards? Somewhere over here in the dark. It's right here. Cool. So if we just continue the direction of the statues, we should end up where we need to go. Of course, there's going to be gloom in the way. Disgusting, rude gloom. If we keep heading in the same direction, will we eventually find it? Hmm. Maybe it'd be worth taking a detour to a light route because I can't see anything. Okay, we can go back to the statue that we found before. Maybe. I don't care about skeletal enemies. There's certainly a lot of Poe over here. Which is good, I guess. Hmm. So we have you, right? Ha. Huh? Let's just use the bright bloom seeds. The game wants us to. Are you serious? Please get out of my life. You really think you're something? You really think you're something? Really, you're not. You're nothing. You are literally nothing. I have the Master Sword. You cannot touch me. Anyways. Okay, this is definitely one of them. Okay, instead of being a fool, And, uh, yeah, all our bows are badly damaged, so I don't mind if I break them. Because we need to get new bows anyways. What I was looking for is how do you throw stuff again? Uh, there we go. There we go. You just throw it like that. I don't want to waste the big bright blue seeds because, A, I don't know how to get them. I think you get them in caves, which we're not really exploring them that much. Okay, so here's the hope. Oh, you see this statue right here. This statue is pointing around this direction. So my hope is if I continue this direction, I might find something. Also, on the way, it looks like there's a treasure. Okay, I do not like... Wait, you can't even throw away your Master Sword. Oh, is this the temple? No, this isn't a temple. This is just one of those little checkpoint diggies. Aha! Statue! Perfect, we're heading in the right direction. So using light root, I mean, uh, bright bloom seeds is way better for lighting our way. See, now I can actually see what I'm doing. Ooh! These dudes usually have really good weapons, so I'm just gonna grab you. Ooh, a soldier's broadsword! With shininess. Sword banish and enables quick charge attacks. And it has long throw. Cool. What do we have that we can fuse that with? Let's see. Fuse attack power. Why not? Let's let's create a very powerful sword. Put you put you and we'll fuse you with here. And for now we'll use this weapon. Boom. Okay, this is not the best weapon because it was it already had a weak attack damage, but it's one of our better weapons because it has quick charge, which means we will spin the enemies out of house and home. Okay, let's make sure that we're still heading in the right direction, of course. There we go. Looks like there's a bunch of enemies right over here, and we might as well defeat them because monster parts are more valuable than they thought they were. And they're like weak enemies anyways. Yeah. Everything that's gloomed is is obviously worse, but it's just a basic enemy camp. I can take it out easily. Nope. Oh, is that a silver moblin? Okay. Some things have changed a little. Okay, I hate it when enemies throw rocks at me. It's so rude. Okay, I'm gonna try and knock you down. Quick. 
And here's my idea. We're gonna switch to our ice weapon. No, not the master sword. Oh, crud. I did not mean to do that. I meant to please freeze him. Come on, freeze. No! I want that hit. Sometimes these companions are so rude to me. I just want to do a supercharge. Ultra charge spin attack. There we go. If we quick charge very quickly, is that enough speed to just go like. Yeah, it is. Very much is. Our companions are literally wrecking the silver moblin. It's hilarious. I wish our companions were effective against Lionel. Hey, you didn't even drop. You did drop the silver Lionel horn. I don't want to combine it with anything just yet. Well, let's use our, our favorite mining tool in the game, the Master Sword. Because this is totally what it was meant for. Actually, I don't want to waste the Master Sword. Let's use a... No, that's the White Lane. Let's use a Spike Ball Hammer. Anyways, this is just a fun episode. I, I'm just dumbfounded that we, we, we haven't done this mission at all. Are those skeletal horses? Can we have skeletal horses? Does that mean there's stables down here? I want to try and catch one. I wonder if they're immune to gloom. Okay, let's try being more quiet. I do have sneaky food. I'm going to equip the sneaky food just in case if we can actually, uh... I want one that doesn't give them other hearts. Okay. That's very sneaky, sneaky. Mount. Okay, how do you soothe? Soothe. Soothe. Come on, soothe. This is amazing. Are they immune to gloom? Of course they are. They're a horse. Okay, I think that they are tamed. This is probably a very slow one and very easy to tame. But that's okay because horses are very fast anyways. Cool. So what do we do now? How did I not know there was horses down here? I should have explored the depths earlier. Remember how we were just off-putting exploring the depths because I thought it would be very difficult? Because of that that bad experience we had with the frog. I know, I don't want to use the big one, I want to use the small one. That bad experience we had with the frogs. I wish I had not have had that bad experience with the frogs. I actually don't want to break that. Actually, I do. We really should just break these bows. To be honest with you. So let's break the Demon King bow. By using it to not even fight enemies. That's hilarious. Okay, I, now I need to make sure I'm actually keeping track of where we're going. Okay, this is the next statue. So according to the game, this is the next area we're going towards. Yeah. Cool. It's very nice to have a horse in the depths. Honestly, okay, that's the next statue. Well, that, that's not a statue at all. The game is saving right now. Could it be that I'm running straight into an enemy base? It, the horse's AI works down here? I would not have expected that. Ooh, there's a light route right there. Let's head towards this light route first. Then I'm going to continue to the statue quest, because... The Grove of Time? The heck? Is this what we've been after? Let's get this light route. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not want our horse to fall off. It's so fun exploring with the horse when you can't see where you're going. Come on. Be a good boy or girl, I don't- I can't tell. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this light real quick. I can't believe that there's been skeletal horses. With all the time I've had exploring the depths. I will keep complaining to this game Well, I'm not actually complaining about this game. 
But I will keep complaining about myself missing this kind of stuff. Okay, where was the last statue at? I've completely lost track. We need to backtrack a lot. First, let's see what this dude has to say. Also, let's call our horse over here real quick. Look at this cleansing light. The rumors were true. It really can restore vitality lost to gloom. That's right, the bright core of this gigantic tree has secret power to heal vitality, glimpse, or so they say. When I got there, the light was weak. It wasn't able to heal anything at all until just now. I was watching you uh. get up this tree, didn't you, Link? Feels like something the arch enemy of the Yuga clan would do. As does the, f as does being fooled by my disguise. I'm taking you down. Of course you're Yuga clan. What else would you be? Well, get ready to be wrecked, because I have a silver Lionel weapon. I mean, not a silver Lionel, uh, a silver Moblin <laughs> weapon. Plus, I have like four other people helping me. Uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> My companions just defeated them. That's hilarious. I was wondering why there was some random person right there. Also, apparently, the Yuga clan likes Clone. Huh. Anyways, let's go back so we can find the statues again because I have no clue where the statue was. But if we go backwards, we trace our steps a little, we should find a statue, right? Hey, I wanted to collect that Poe, but I guess you cannot collect Poe. Uh, I completely lost. Where the heck are the statues at? I should mark the statues as I go to them. Then I'd actually be able to find things. There's a friend who wants to give us a weapon. I highly doubt it'd even be valuable. Yeah. Let's head into the darkness a little, I guess. Huh. We know that there's a statue over by here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. There's their, there's their statue. Huh. Wait, is that the temple right there? This is nice. This is very flat ab abyss ground. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, horse. I did not mean to um, crash you straight into... What is this? Is this another Yige clan hideout? We're gonna ignore that for now, because we're our main focus right now is the statues. Did I not even travel in the right direction? That's hilarious. I didn't even travel in the right direction. Okay, so let's continue this way. The statues want us to go down there? Is that the reason why I never found one? Because I remember going all the way over here. And... And that leads us to the darkness. Huh. I wasn't even going in the right direction the whole time. So let's go in the exact direction that the statue dictates. So let's slow down our horse a little. Go right here. Turn. And then go this direction instead. Oh, we don't even have a bow equipped. Let's just use the weak bow for this now. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is a cliff, is it not? Okay, so following the statues leads us to here. Huh. Look at that. That is the perfect setup to build a car. That is hilarious. It's like the game is trying to teach us how to build cars when it took me forever to even figure that out. There should be a statue around here somewhere. Maybe over here? Oh, you dudes. You're like mini uh, froxes. Stop eating my bright one seeds, please. I need those to see. Oh, those do you drop bright bloom seeds. That makes sense. Now, where the heck is this next statue at? 
I swear I'm gonna have to light up this entire area before I can find it. The issue is I don't do well with seeing things. And when everything's dark, it becomes even harder for me to actually see anything. Oh, I think that's the next statue, is it not? Oh, this totally was. We passed it. Where's our horse at, anyways? Cool. Uh. Did our horse... Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, you won't come to us because you're not fully t tamed, are you? I can give you an apple for being a good horse. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue this direction. In theory, if we just had to the straight line from the statue, we should find the next one. At least that's my hope. I was hoping this was going to be a super easy side quest. But it doesn't seem to be. Okay, I'm still heading in the direction that the statue said. Not seeing any more statues. I'm just going to keep heading straight and hopefully we'll run into another statue. Yeah. Whoosh. Okay, another frox. Don't really want to deal with you unless you have a statue near you. Hey, that looks like a temple. That looks like a temple if I've seen one. I think this is where the, uh, the uh, statues are leading us. We've been traveling in relatively the same direction this whole time. I'm so glad that I went to investigate this. I honestly would have known what we wanted to do. Hmm. I'm gonna save. This is not a temple. But I wanna I wanna see what's up here. And now I need to backtrack again, because this I got misled again. This looks like the temple I'm looking for, okay? But where does this lead? Usually these leads to someplace very interesting. Where are we? Oh, the area with the fire Gleox. I completely forgot about you, to be honest with you. Let's go back down there and mark that with a... Skull and maybe a treasure chest to indicate I haven't defeated it. Because I, I definitely do want to fight that fire Gleox. On the bridge of Hylia, there is a Gleox, potential treasure, and death, because it's a Gleox. Cool, now we have to backtrack. Like, majorly backtrack, because that ain't a temple, now is it? Maybe I'm making this mission harder than it should be. Maybe I should just be utilizing Bright Bloom Seeds as much as possible. Then I might actually be able to see where I'm going. So let's head all the way back to way before this area. So we can find the old statue. I just follow it. In some ways, I feel like this horse isn't helping us. And otherwise, it kind of is. Wait, is that statue yeah. right there? No, you're not the kind of statue I'm looking for, though. Yeah. But you are a statue. Where was the last known statue? Wasn't it way... Way over here. I could have sworn it was way, way over here. Yeah. Over by the light route, right? Yeah. Hmm. I can't yeah. believe one of the early missions has got me stumped. What happened to the statue? There's totally a statue by this light route, right? Yeah. I traveled in a straight line and I'm being punished. Because I veered off course slightly. 
I can't help if I'm curious about what's going on. Where are the statues at? I'm scared. There are no statues over here. No, 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 this is a bad time to get stuck. I do not want to have to deal with those uh, mini taluses, whatever they're called. I don't want to have to deal with them. Where is the last known statue? It's way over here by the light route. Oh, we're over here. How did they get turned around so badly? Okay, I know exactly where we are now. Luckily. Which means we should be able to find a statue here. In just a moment. I thought we would have found a statue, like, very quickly, yeah. like the other ones, but no, we did not. Okay, let's make sure that we're heading. Oh, we're we not heading in the right direction. Oh, there's the next one. Are you serious? You've got to quit. You're rude to me. <laughs> I'm just frustrated because these are weak enemies. That's all that's what's going on right now. Oh, a silver... Oh, that's why I got took so much damage. This is a silver Lysel. Well, oh well. You're about to get wrecked. What was that? Great, great. I'm probably gonna die here too. Come on. There we go. Get the ultimate swing in. You're really powerful. Almost as powerful as the silver mama. I want to use the star fragment staff on you. Oh, I see what it does. The star fragment staff is for lighting things up. It's like a portable flashlight. Silver Lavasso horn. Cool. Silver Lavasso's tail. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to travel in peace to take care of these statues. I wonder if these, uh... Are you serious? Stop glimming me! Anyways, I wonder if these, uh, enemies spawn silver because I'm stronger. I bet if I had done this earlier, there would not be silver enemies trying to kill me. Because that's the most plausible thing I can think of. Come on. I dare you to take a stab at me. That was a terrible jump, by the way. Oh no, my silver Boko Reaper can't work. What's our next best weapon? This Lionel weapon? Let's make sure that it doesn't break, though, because Lionel stuff is rare. Stop it! I Sometimes this game really irritates me. I'm going to swing you into oblivion. Take that. Silly, silly, silly silver lavasses thinking they could just take me out like that. Do I have any gloom restoring food? I do. Uh, we've been gloomed like terribly. I'm just gonna eat this so we can heal up. You. Oh, I don't even have a bow. We should probably start picking up some bows. There we go. At least you're not a silver one. Which means you will die very quickly at the hand of... Now I don't even remember what we were doing. Aha, the statue. Where's our horse at? Let's make sure that we're picking up the bows, too. You're not silver. Ooh, there's a chest here. I'll take the chest, I guess. There's so much zonite to mine here. A Sunday line. Wow. Oh, why, why, why to add insult to me? Maybe the game trying to teach you that you can heal gloom with Sunday line. But only if you cook it. Is there a cooking pot nearby? In this base? And now I'm picking up weapons I don't need. I might as well mine all this tonight. Boop, 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 boom. Can I do this? Is it possible for me to spin around? This is how you should really mine. Just spin around and destroy everything. <laughs> huh. That's hilarious. 
No wonder they say that. Uh, two-handed weapons are better for mining. They said that in a hint. Because th this is crazy. We're gonna get so much zonite. Which is a currency. Okay. Our horse is gone. It seems to have abandoned us. Uh, so we're gonna travel on foot. Or... No, wait. There, There is no uh, ground to shoot. Shield surf on. Okay, this time let's not get distracted by that false temple. Wait, that looks like a temple. But maybe I'm being tricked. Let's just keep following. Wait a second. Are you serious? Remember that light route that I got, kept getting, I got turned around at? Has the temple been down? That totally looks like the temple. This has to be the temple and not just the... Because there's statues near it. Wow. So, remember that light route that we activated? That I got turned around at? He was right next to the temple the entire time. That's insane. So the thing we've been looking for is right next to us and I would have known because it's so dark. Hopefully we get to beat the dude who uh, deals with the Poe. Wait a second, the Great Abandoned Central Mine. Hmm. That's starting to make me think that this is the temple. Shrug. Well, let's continue going and see where this leads us. Like, why would the Grand Central Abandoned Mine be a temple, but it's telling us to head this direction. So head the direction we shall, statue. But this does not look like a temple. Where are we actually? Oh, actually I don't feel bad because this is a light route that we found a long time ago. But never... I... Did I completely ignore this mine site or did I not know what a mine site was? Whatever, let's activate this. Authorizing verifier. It's it's moving. Preparing auto build to authorize it now. Please utilize it as you explore and ex excavate the depths for zonite. I have plenty of zonite. What is that? Auto build? What? Instantly recreate your Ultra Hint project using nearby items in Zonite. Auto build records your previous creations. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text says. Hold on, um. The ability will allow you to commit any structures you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. I oh. know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke. We've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The one on the round pedestal lost the wheel. The one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back into the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second one in no time flat. <laughs> so come on, let's see it in action. Fix them real quick. You can start by repairing the one on the round pedestal. What? This whole time? Oh, that's the square one. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just freaking out, okay? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, game. Okay. I am literally just freaking out right now. That there is a rune that we haven't had this whole time. Wow, look at that. The wheel's right back on there. Snug as a bug. Now it's time for the mint. 
the one into pieces. Use the new power wars and fix it up lickety split. Do you think there's some shrines we could have done because of lacking auto build? So how does this work? Can I save schematics? Aerial cannon? What the heck? What is this? The 15 zone I. What? Well, looks like I'm seeing double, but with less no time, flat tube. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, engine power. The techs are right after all. I'll say that the power is incredible. Oh, master! Look at that, the legends were true. Uh, let me guess, Yuga clan. There is a lot of Yuga clan in the depths. They're like both of you. You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is. If there's one fellow I'll never forget, it's the man who cast me from Garuda Desert Hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. We beat again at last. Don't try to tell you, you forgot me. We were bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. Oh, I remember this dude. He's the Yiga leader. I'm the leader of Yiga Clan, the strong, the depths defying, from the ashes rising. Master Koga. Oh, you get a mini boss? I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power you were sought for so long. The highlight of all the busty old texts we found in this land. Remembers the objects you've assembled and can instantly produce them? Long list stability from the distant past, so you, you, you're cheating! Here we are working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand. And you could just whip them up in an instant? That's not fair. No, we could have used that power. The one to worship and revere the magnificent one. It was I fit what we offered it to him, he would be able to have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked up right and snatched it away. Now we're gonna snatch it back. He's gonna fight us using <laughs> Zonai devices? He's kind of trying to run us over? That's rude. I have the Master Sword, so this should be easy. Oh, I see. We're supposed to get around. Can I use Recall on this? No, I can't, because I didn't build it. That makes me wonder, is there a way to upgrade our runes, too? I mean, I know they're not called runes anymore, but I can't or I don't know what the name of them, to be honest with you. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. I'm gonna extend this episode a little because of this, honestly. I wonder if we hit you with a bow. Like this. Knocking you off. Can we drive this around and be like, Hey, Mr. Master Koga, would you like to get right over? No, I can't do that. Because you can teleport things, apparently. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, this time let's knock him off and actually do some real damage to him. Yeah, this is gonna be a super easy boss fight, but I kinda expected that. Considering we're supposed to fight this dude like at almost the entire beginning of the game. Oh, you really think you can block my arrows by doing that? That's what happens when you're a slow moving vehicle. And get wrecked. I know this might seem like a waste of our silver Lionel stuff. If only I could unpeace the Master Sword, but it'll be okay. Alright, uh, you pesky little pest. Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart? But I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. I saw your little trick there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I grabbed that power you cheated me out of all by myself off at the southwestern abandoned mine. The, the magnificent one and I will guide this world to its miserable end and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Okay, so that fight wasn't supposed to be hard, so we're gonna see him again. But don't follow me. You know, to me, it kind of looked like you used auto build. Nice chest. Side of Edward, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan.
Huge crystallized charge. A complete crystal made of condensing zonai. Oh. Excuse me. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you pardon me for listening in on your conversation. The man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that is where he's referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago like this one. Or was constantly unearthed and refined. And there are statues that point that way. To the abandoned Gerudo mine, follow them to reach that destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There's something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There's another reason that is good you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto build. That means this gamma stone I carry is for you. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as zonite devices. Auto build saves the schematic and builds it on command. What the? A fan plane? <laughs> you should be able to auto build an additional design. Please wait till I prepare the necessary parts for you to test this gamma stone. <laughs> okay. This episode is straight out of a, a dream or something. The gamma stones can help you build things you'd never before imagined. I hope you find this one useful. So you want us to build this, so we can go out there master our, that dude. But that seems like a side adventure that we don't need to do. So what if we go back to look at landing and end the video? I'll see you in the next one.